Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about a question that I have been asked many times. How do I move, rotate and zoom the model so smooth? Some of you already know the answer and some don't and the answer is very simple. I'm using the 3D Connection Space Mouse. Before that a short story. A few years ago before I found the Space Mouse I got to a point where it was very uncomfortable to model. My models and parts become more and more complex, rotating and zooming become more, uh, very time consuming and it slowed me down and limited my abilities. I'm sure you can recognize some of it. So I started looking for a new mouse that's specifically made for or targeting 3D modeling, which will give me more freedom and will allow me to orbit and zoom more naturally. And then I found a 3D connection space mouse. I got my space mouse for my birthday and honestly that was one of the best present I ever got. I never forget this day. My whole modeling experience changed after that. As you know, the fact that we are able to build a model virtually is amazing. But there is one thing that's still missing and that's the ability to hold the model in our hands and feel it. The 3D Connection Space Mouse is the closest that you can get to hold the model in your hand. And believe me, it's very difficult to explain it. You have to really try it yourself. Not only that, the Space Mouse will help you be more productive, save you a lot of mouse clicks and allow you to do things you couldn't do before or didn't think are possible. But first, let's uh, go to their website quickly and check out the different models. So we are on the 3D Connection website and as you can see there are three models. We have the Space Mouse, Space Mouse Pro and the Enterprise. And each model has a wire or wireless uh, uh, option. <clears throat> so you can just choose which one is best for you also. The price is also a little bit different. Now, I should also mention the supported software is very long. You can find it under supported software and all supported software. From here, you can search for it and you can also see the operating system it supports, which is basically all of them. And here you have the list of all the software. I doubt you won't find your software in the list. So let's go back and check out what I have on my desk. So here we go. As you can see, I have the Space Mouse to the left and the Space Mouse Pro to the right. This is the Space Mouse I have for I had for uh, about three years now. That's the one I got for my birthday. And the Space Mouse Pro I got it from 3D Connection. They were grace, um, gracious enough to uh, send me one so I can uh, review it and show it to you. So if we start with the uh, Space Mouse, it's got the cup, which is the main feature. It's the most important part. And it's the same all over the, um, over, all over the other models. It's exactly the same one. And the Space Mouse, we've got also two buttons, uh, which you can use to uh, create any uh, functions that you want. So you can configure them very easily. Right behind it, you can see we have the power button and a micro USB. I can also tell you that the Space Mouse is pretty heavy, so it will be very sturdy on your table, so you don't have to be worried about when uh, you know moving the, the mouse it's going to uh, stay in place uh, all the time, okay? So let's move on to the uh, Space Mouse Pro. As I mentioned before, the cup is exactly the same. And as you can see, it's divided into three uh, sections. On the left, we have the keyboard modifier. It's basically uh, the same keyboard uh, keys that we have on the keyboard. We have the escape, we have the shift, control, and alt. And right below, we have the menu. Now, the keyboard's modifiers, they function exactly the same as the keyboard, and they are very practical. For example, you have the control, it's when you need to multi-select, and we have the shift, for example, when we need to look for 
uh, the center of a, a line or something like that. Now, moving on to the top uh, section. So you can see we have the four function keys. It's a uh, easy access keys, which you can configure to any function that you want. To the right here, we have the quick view keys. Uh, it gives us 12 standard views for improved error detection, design reviews, and design presentations. Um, now, something you have to uh, understand is that all the keys, they can be configured to whatever function that you want. If you say, okay, I don't care about the escape control and all these buttons, fine, you can change them, okay? Uh, but before that, of course, I will um, advise you to take your time with the mouse, get the hang of it, and then make a list of all the important functions, uh, commands that you're using quite often, and then figure it out where you're gonna use them, okay? So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we are going to, uh, how is it to work without the mouse and how is it with the mouse so you can see the difference. So I have this flange right here and there are some um, changes I would like to make for it, okay? So let's start now without a mouse and then we can do it with a mouse. So at start, I need to go to the area where I would like to do the, uh, the change. So I'm going to the orbit and I am going to flip it. And now I'm going to zoom in. So these faces here, I would like to get rid of them in order to do that. And so now I'm going to exit the orbit command. I'm going to select the control and select those two faces. Now I want to do the same for all the other sides. So uh, this is where things get a little bit crunky because I need to turn it around and as you can see it's not the most comfortable way of doing it. So then I'm gonna go again to the orbit here. Let's see if I can get it somehow. It's a little bit difficult as you can see. It's way too many clicks. But in this case, I already have a created. So let me just go back a little bit and try it again. So we are here in this first phase. I'm going to click on the control and then let's try move it again. And okay. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna try to orbit, try to position it as I want and okay hit the control oh sorry i need to exit i'm going to hit the control now and select the two faces and as you can see i'm gonna have to keep doing it uh, over again and again and again as you can see it's very very um yeah weird way of working and it's take a long time it's extremely annoying so I don't want to take more, uh, more of your time, so I'm just going to go back. And now this time I'm going to show you how we can do it with the mouse. So very easily, just twisting. And we are in. So we can hit the control. And then next we're going to do is oh, move in here. Again, hitting the control. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, turn it, and zoom in. Here in the control. Do the same to the last one. Here in the control. And now I can hit delete, and that's it. So this is it. It's much quicker, much faster, and much more comfortable. And you're not going to be able to do things like that, you know, really zoom in and move smoothly and really found, you know, arrows on your, uh, on your, model, on your model. It's uh, much easier to work and much more precise when you have the right tool, which means the space mouse. Okay, now let's move on and see how we can customize the button. It is very simple. 
Uh, right here we have the menu button, so we can just click on it and the menu just pop up. Something I would like to mention is if we are changing to another program, as you can see right here, it says Autodesk Fusion 360. And now let's just see if I'm changing now to a, a Chrome browser. You can see right here, it changed to Chrome, which means the profile changed automatically from system to system. That also means the profile or the configuration of the, of the buttons. So on Chrome, if I'm gonna use push the the cup, as you can see forward, it gives us the scrolling function, okay? And if I want, I can always uh, configure the other buttons here uh, to do all kinds of things for the browser. So now let's go back and let's see what we have here. So this list here gives us all the um, devices that are connected to our universal receiver. Um, here we can see we have the speed, that's the uh, the speed of all the uh, movements, the six degrees of freedom that we have on the cup. So that's gonna change everything. Now let me just switch back so the fusion is activated. So you can see right here it's set to relatively high. I like it to be very sensitive. So all the movements are gonna have the same speed, the same sensitivity. If you wanna change that, then you can go to the advanced tab and right here you can see you can individually change the sensitivity for each direction right left backward forward up and down uh, uh, of the rollings and twisting and so on you can also reverse them and you can also turn them off if you want you can also restore to default and also again here from the navigation you can choose exactly what you want on and off and you can uh, yeah, zooming direction you can also change so basically everything moving on to the buttons so right here you can see you can recognize already the uh, the buttons here so we have the one two three four buttons that we have here on top um, right here we have the menu and then we have the fits to the right and then we have the lock option, which is this one here, the wrong one here. And over here we have the escape, control, alt, which we have in the section here to the left, which you can change. And then we have the TRF, and which we also have around here in the quick view key keys. So as you can see, we can change all of them, okay? so. Let's just say, for example, instead of having this lock mechanism, you can see I already changed it to fit. But if I want to change it to something else, I can either search for, uh, search for it or I can also browse it. Let's just say, for example, I want a virtual number pad instead. So I can just change it to that. And that's it. If I go back to Fusion, and I'm gonna click on it so we have the number part. Okay, so it's that simple and nothing to it. I can also restore to default everything. And yeah, but as I mentioned before, it is very important the first time you do when you get the mouse, get used to it, get to know it with the basic functionalities. And then when you figure out exactly uh, how you work, what kind of tools you're usually using, what's important to you, then you can try to figure out, okay, where I'm going to position them so it's going to be most comfortable for me because it's going to take time anyway to develop the muscle memories. It's like when you're driving a car with a manual gear. In the beginning, you always have to look, if you remember that, for which gear you are, where to put it and so on. And but with time now, after a while, you're not doing it anymore because it's muscle memory, you're just doing it. And that is exactly the learning curve with the mouse. So in the beginning, it's going to be a little bit awkward. Uh, you're going to have to uh, look where your fingers are. But with time, the more you're going to use it, the easier it's going to be. So I hope it's, uh, it's enough information for you. All I can say is that in conclusion, that the bottom line is if you love designing and modeling, then you should definitely get uh, one. 
uh, it will change your whole design and modeling experience that's for sure you'll be much more faster it's gonna be months you're really gonna enjoy the whole modeling experience uh, your modeling designing is gonna improve and it is in but and also it is a really good investment it's something you, which you're going to have for a very 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 long time like mine the one i have here uh, i had it as i said for three years and i'm extremely happy with it uh, to be honest i don't know how i can design now without it uh, sometimes i'm opening fusion on my laptop and i'm not connecting the mouse to it and it's really not fun so um, yeah and then moreover uh, i could say like i got it as a present for my birthday and the holidays are coming right now and if not then in general for birthday it's gonna be a huge huge and uh, really nice present to have so uh, it's also a really good idea for that in the description you will find a link to their shop and to their website and so what are you waiting for go ahead and get one and i will see you in the next video bye